Yo, it's a lion's war, and the stakes are high. Lord Shadow steps up, he's ready to fly. Questions in the air, they start to rain. Can Lord clear his lane without any strain? How many deaths will Lord give out this war? He gotta maintain. Find the best counter for the fender. Lord Shadow skill, he's the ultimate contender. Maps laid out, it's a treacherous path. But Lord's got the skills, he's done the math. Checking the nodes, planning the attack. He's moving forward, there's no turning back. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 52. And this is war number nine. And we're going up against an alliance called House of Dragons. Okay. Let's see. Who did they ban? They banned my girl. Lady Deathstrike. Okay. Omega Sentinel and Silk. All right. Okay. All right. Let's see what they got in store for us. There's our future Ant-Man. All right. Arcus, Hood, and um, Storm Pyramid X. That doesn't look too bad, honestly. Um, now, I did have a comment about me saying uh, Corvus. Um, I, I don't think Corvus is the best option for this uh, future Ant-Man fight here on this node. But that's not saying he can't do it. I've done it with him and I just don't like the way he does it. I don't think he's optimal. I would much rather bring in Magneto who does it very quickly, easily, smoothly. Same thing with a uh, gladiator. So it'll either be gladiator or Magneto that I would want to take him with. I won't take him with Corvus if I can help it. Now for Arcus, Corvus can do that. So can uh, Claire. I usually pick Claire uh, for Arcus fights. And Claire could do um, Hood. Pretty much anybody can do Hood, to be honest. And uh, for Storm Pyramid X, uh, we'll see. Let me look and see what he um, has planned. I like to go over this so that um, I can see how close our um, thoughts are going and so that I can suggest someone if I think that who he has me using, um, I don't feel comfortable with. But look at this. Hood, Black Widow, Clairvoyant. Storm, Pyramid X, Ultron. Perfect. Um, Ant-Man, Future, Gladiator. Okay. And then Vision, Arcus, Black Widow, Clairvoyant. See? We're in sync. So now, let me see who he has. Ultron, Gladiator, and Black Widow, Clairvoyant. Let me see. Did he have me... Yep, he has me fighting uh, Gore. And who does he want me to use there? Black Widow Clairvoyant, good. Um, that should work. So, yeah, we're good. Now, with um, Gladiator, I don't have to bring Gladiator to fight that um, future Ant-Man. I could do Magneto. But why not? Why not use um, Gladiator? It will mean that I have to use a Power Start 1, but it's okay. We're uh, almost done with the uh, season. Okay, so I don't see anything that uh, I need to change here. So let's get on with the fighting. All right, we're going in with Gladiator, Black Widow Clairvoyant, and Ultron. Now, I'm going to tell you guys right now, this war was not my best moment. But more on that later. Okay, so the first fight, I'm not too worried about it. Hood is not exactly a strong defender. <clears throat> I usually just bait out his special ones. Easy to evade. His special two, I think... If there was an unblockable special two on the node, then he would be really annoying. Because I, I don't know about you, but I can't evade his special two. I just block it. All right? But we're going in with Claire. And like I said, very, very simple. Look at, look at the health. Just chewing away. 
I remember when people were like, oh, she, she don't do a lot of damage or anything like that. Well, I do run the recoil masteries, so perhaps that is it. I don't know. But she's rocking it right here. And I really can't wait for her to enter the seven-star pool. She does not need to be awakened at all. I want her as a seven star. She will go right up to the top of my most wanted list. Right along with um, Onslaught. So next one up is Ultron versus um, Storm Pyramid X. Now, this fight is the one that I was talking about in the last um, war. Now watch this. Okay. Mm. Look at that. That's what happened. But look, I'm healing. I'm healing. I like Ultron. But what happened there was my fault. I I used to be able to do it, you know, do the stun, but the stun doesn't last long enough for me to do what I was trying to do. Um, she came right out of that stun just in time to wreck me, okay? Um, I was hoping the stun would last long enough, but it very rarely does. Uh, maybe they had limber. I, I don't know. But I haven't been able to do that in quite a while. Okay. But we uh, got her down. And now we're going to face future Ant-Man. And I honestly thought, just to save resources, but we're almost to the end of the season. Because fighting future Ant-Man with Gladiator means I'm going to need to uh, use an advanced power boost so that I can get to uh, the special two and get that longer um, vigilance. He will be SIG 200, and maybe I won't need to do that once he's SIG 200, but we'll see. I'm not sure. Um, but I know that the... Um, in fact, let me let me look at that while the fight's going on because you guys have seen this fight before. Um, all right, so I'm gonna look up Gladiator here. My Gladiator is uh, 148 Sig. All right, so he starts out with the vigilance and it's 12 seconds. That's it. I don't think it goes up uh, to where the special two goes. Let me see. Yeah, the special two is 20 seconds. So, at SIG 200, I don't think it's 20. I can, uh, I'll have to look up uh, Aunt May uh, later on, but I don't believe it's 20 seconds for uh, SIG 200. All right, down he goes. All right, uh, let me see. I'm going to look it up. While we're fighting here. Yeah, let me move that over there so I can see both. Uh, let's see. Cosmic. We got Gladiator right there. And let's see. Where's his special two? No, I want to need his signature. Okay, it goes up to 15 seconds. All right, so that will help quite a bit. Um, I don't know if I can get to a special two in 15 seconds, but I'll get really close. So I'll have to test that out. All right. But here we have um, Claire and Claire just does an awesome job against um, Arcus. He's not going to get his uh, power gain because she keeps on nullifying his power gain. Um... She just is a, a great counter. For me, she's the perfect counter to Arcus. Okay, look at this. Done. She is just smooth with it. Okay, so that is path uh, three, section one and two. Now, I was assigned a path, um, a mini, which was Gore. Normally, Claire 
takes care of gore easily, okay? However, this gore is different. Look at the nodes, okay? There is, I think, when he gets his power, there's a power gain that he gets, and while he has it, he can't have his buffs nullified or staggered. All right, yeah, power efficiency right here. Okay, look at it. Once it's there for 12 seconds, all his buffs can't be nullified or um, staggered. So that severely hinders my Claire against uh, Gore. All right, but I didn't know just how it would go. So I'm in here. You saw that I, I did boost up and everything. All right. And so now I got to knock him down. But remember, we've got um, one eye open. So I had a plan. I was like, okay, knocking him down with my special, that can work. And I can, um, I was thinking of cycling back to uh, blood so I could keep firing the special over and over and over again, right? But the problem with that, and if you look at that, once he hit me just one time, and he didn't hit me, that's into my block. Look at this. I'm getting look 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 at my my health. I had to do that just to get him off of me, but it was too late. Too late. Done. Just got wrecked. Got pushed into the corner. Wrecked. And I'm like, okay, this is actually a pretty good placement for uh Gore. But I said, all right, all right. How should I do this? And so I, I said, I, I have a plan. I looked and I saw that the special um, was was doing some, some work, you know. And so I said, all right. And you see me here. I'm looking through this because I'm like, what just happened? But that's just gore. Um, he built up his debuffs and then right into my block. He, he, he nasty. He nasty, right? But I also saw that power efficiency uh, portion because he kept gaining power. And I'm like, I can't nullify it? What's going on? It, it, that's what that node does. So she's not really a good option for Gore on this node. Not a good option. But we had to find out. All right. So here I am trying to navigate the uh, new store layout, okay? I'm trying to go and get some health potions, but you can see here, I went to the wrong section. These are the ones for units. So I'm like, okay, wait, where was it again? Still gotta get used to it. Um, and I believe it was under, yeah, under Alliance and then uh, Loyalty. And that's where uh, those are. I mean. Once I get used to it, I won't make those mistakes, but it'll take me a little bit, take me a little bit. And see, it just kicked me out. I don't know what just happened there. Um, I think the timer went out, and so it, it um, kicked me out of it. But anyway, now I knew where to go. So my plan now, I'm like, let's see if this will work. Let me get a Mystic uh, Power Back Boost, okay? Um... And we're going to see if I can just cycle specials almost back to back. And because I noticed that he was getting a lot of power, let's see if I can um, control the power in her um, Curse of Plague mode. Okay. And you can see his health. His health went back up. And that is so demoralizing, let me tell you. You see that and you're like, it's like I didn't even do anything. All right, so we're going to give this another go, right? And got my plan. Plan is in place. And, uh, you know, I, I noticed that the, uh, the invulnerability boost didn't really help me because invulnerability boost will not help if you're getting drained by a damage over time it'll just drain you out like you saw um what happened 
it'll only help with the hits. Problem is, even if I'm invulnerable, if he hits into my block, I'm still going to get those damage over times on me. So, okay. Here's the plan. All right. We're going to cycle in um, to a Curse of Blood. I mean, a Curse of Plague. All right. There we go. Curse of Plague. And now I'm firing my special two. Boom. All right. Now that knocked him down. Okay. So now this one will do some damage. And I'm like, okay, this can work. Okay. So here we go. Got another uh, protection. Okay. So, but now look at this. Getting a lot of power. So I'm having to bait out a lot of specials. And that's taking away from the cooldown of the protection. And of course, using specials to knock him down, now I have to race to get to a special two so I could do some damage. But you can see he's gaining so much power. But look at his health. You know, it was kind of working, okay? But look at his um, regen. It's not really uh, doing anything. All right, so here we go. He got his protection back up in all that time. So I'm not doing any damage again. And look at it. He's almost at two bars of power. And he just keeps gaining. Now I have to bait out like almost two specials. Okay, I'm still trying to get to my special two to get some uh, damage in. And I really don't want to deal with his special two. And he's got protection up again. Okay, so I'm like, all right, this may not work. And I switched out of the mode by accident, which happens, okay, with her, because it reads my last swipe as a um, light attack, and here I am in the corner again. All right, so I just went and said, okay, he's not gonna do any damage, but I needed to get some distance, okay? And look at this. It's a lot of baiting out and she's just not a great option for this. It looked like it was going to work. And now I'm in Curse of Blood. And I can't even gain a lot of health back. So I did that to knock him down. And I'm thinking maybe I can, you know, do a, a special one, knock him down, then go to a special two maybe. But look at this. And then once he did that, over with and I want y'all to look at the screen at the end. Now he regen a bunch of the health, but look at the screen at the end. Don't I just love when I don't get hit at all and still die. Look at that, hits received, zero. All right, we'll be back in a moment and you'll find out just how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. I was actually a little nervous about this one. I wasn't sure how the war was going. And lately, we've been winning, losing, winning, losing. I thought that this was going to be a break in that pattern where we were going to lose two in a row. But we actually came through despite my poor performance in this war. Shout out to our MVPs. Now, I have a question for you guys. Somebody tell me, why is House of Dragon's name red? I'm not sure what that signifies. No one else that I've seen has their name in red. Is that something they did or does it signify something else? I don't know. All right. But anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day arena and chill grind that's how we roll no stress no drama just on patrol in the fight he swift his tactics be tight those shadows in the arena ready to ignite from the streets to the screen his skills be renowned in the world of marvel lord the king Brown.